Hi, how is everyone doing? I hope everyone is all is well with everyone. This content that you are about to view may be offensive if you are easily offended, then please do not watch. My name is Carmela Banks. Okay. Oh, Eva Michelle, and um, this is about her husband, right? Yes, Kevin McCall. Kevin McCall. Okay. What's going on with them? Yes, if you look at the Real Housewives of Atlanta, are calling Eva Michelle out as a liar for denying that she and baby girl Kevin McCall were even were even in a serious relationship. Are they still married or they are broken up? Uh, I, 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 from what I know, I guess they had a bad breakup or something. Oh, something okay. Was going on between them. Oh, that uh, wasn't so good. And, um... Uh, and the viewers is saying that uh, Eva Marcel um, was playing uh, Kevin McCall, or you wasn't taking the relationship I serious. I guess that she's lying about the relationship with them. Really? Mm-hmm. It says Real Housewives of Atlanta viewers accuse Eva Mar Marcel of lying about her relationship with Kevin McCall. I guess they're saying she's lying somewhere. Hmm. Well, I don't know. Um, uh, go ahead and finish reading. Let me, let me hear some more. Now, Eva played down the relationship, saying that she was just having fun until she found out that she was pregnant with his baby. She also detailed the violence she faced at his, at his hand. They claimed that McCall has always denied. So, so oh, about... So McCall was a violent. So McCall beat her ass. That's 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 what. McCall? Yeah, I think it was some receipts that he's supposed to have put his hands on her. Oh yeah, so you don't do no shit him. like that. Yeah, of course you don't know say. If I was a fucking woman, I would motherfucking him leave that nigga too. You motherfucking put his fucking hands on me, especially if I'm pregnant. Why am I thinking about myself being pregnant? Let me go, <laughs> go ahead, Sister Cabrera. No, I, don't, I don't think I don't think um he beat on her when she was pregnant. Now. Oh okay. Oh. Yeah. Well, well, if I don't, I don't. If Kevin McCall had got Eva pregnant, he can't get no serious than that. You were in a fucking relationship. You know what I'm saying? Just like if if I if I went and got a motherfucking chick pregnant, if if I'm if I'm fucking around with a chick, right? We just fucking around, you know what I'm saying? We ain't serious and shit like that, you know what I'm saying? Then I fuck around and get the bitch pregnant. Oh, it it done just it done got that serious. Because now a fucking life is involved. Now we gotta make a major decision. You know what I'm saying? We don't want our child to grow up mother w without both parents. That'll fuck that child's mind up. Look at the fucking state of people today. The niggas today. The ones that I'm all fucked up in the head is the one without motherfucking both parents. So so what so what so um so what's going on? Go ahead, Sister Camilla. Okay, so even um downplayed the relationship saying that they were just having fun. Now when speaking about her ex, um at the reunion for the housewives, she became emotional and walked from, and she walked off dramatically. Um, she said, "I need a second, and she ripped the you know the earplugs out of her ears, and she said, "I fucking hate talking about him, and he's such an a hole. 
I will fight for any of these women. I hate talking about him. She can be heard uh, saying that off camera, like behind the scenes, everybody else can hear. You know, that's fucking pain. You know, see, that's just like um, a, a, a child who was molested, right? Well, as a child. And when that child grows up and that child goes to talk about her experiences as a child, what happens? Do not that child break down and cry? And do not not that child don't want to talk about it? Well, I've never been molested, so I don't know. Well, I'm. I, well, I, mean, I counsel. Yes, they they wouldn't want to talk about something like that. Well, I counseled many men and women who was molested as children, and a lot of the, a lot of the shit that they go through now that they adults. You know what I'm saying? Indulging heavily in drugs, hitting the bottle. You know what I'm saying? The women being whores, stripper club, and you know what I'm saying. A lot of the shit that they go through is because of the shit that happened and they don't want to talk about it. So I say that to say this. The reason why she, the what she did, what she said, there is some uh, validity to what's going, uh, uh, the, the, the Kevin, McC- whatever the dude name is, uh, uh, fucking so-called ex-husband. Him, mm-hmm. him, be, yeah, Kevin McCall. It is some validity of Kevin McCall being abusive to her. Or she wouldn't have reacted that way. You know what I'm saying? If if, if somebody was abusive to you, it's kind of hard for you to talk about that shit. Some people, if somebody, some people was a, got abused, some people... When they start talking about it, some people just break down. But you know what I'm saying? So by her walking off stage like that, you know what I'm saying? I I think there's some validity to uh, uh Kevin, you know what I'm saying, you know what I'm saying, putting the fucking blows on the bitch. You know what I'm saying? I think I think it's some motherfucking them. I think it's some validity to that shit. Or and I think it's some validity to some shit that happened within that fucking relationship, that motherfucking damn Really motherfucking damn dramatized Miss Eva. Or she wouldn't act like that. Go ahead, Sister Camilla. Uh, McCall has been the background for much of Eva's storyline since the beginning of her time on the show. Now, Trevor was not buying the breakdown of her relationship with the R&B singer. Insisted that they were together for at least two years. So now here's the, some of the tweets that people put. Honorable T. Basada said, Eva said she wasn't in a relationship with Kevin McCall. B, why is you lying? And then uh, T said, oh, and gee, Eva is such a liar. She was blatantly in an actual relationship with her donor. Uh, hot girl mess. Sister Twitter just said, I ain't about to post the pictures because that feels wrong, but there's a gallery of Kevin McCall and Eva photos. That was a relationship. I believe her when she said she was talking about him being abusive. He seems crazy as ever. Now, honestly, just ain't her strong point. And somebody else said, though, uh, Sister Twitter said, we're, we're, weren't Eva and Kevin engaged at one point? And then, you know, they they said that she's trying to say that it wasn't a relationship. It was a relationship. Now, the abuse part is probably what he did do to her. But they just said she's lying about trying to downplay the relationship. It said it wasn't a relationship. Yeah, two, two years. I like to think that that's a fucking relationship. I mean, if, if I'm with a woman for two years... That's a fucking relationship. Uh, Sister Camilla? Yeah. If you were a dude for two years, what are you? It's a relationship. I'm a woman. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. I mean, unless it was just an open relationship that they had. Nevertheless, it's still a fucking relationship. 
if it's an open relationship, if it's a swinging, swingers, you know, the swingers thing, you know what I'm saying? Whatever it is, it's still a relationship. Two fucking years? That's a fucking relationship. You know what I'm saying? And plus a baby was produced out of that? That's a fucking relationship. Now, she might not want to admit to it because he'd been so horrible to her. He probably beat the fuck out of her and shit. So, you know what I'm saying? Who would, who would want to claim a fucking them abuser, abuser like that? You know what I'm saying? I know it's a lot of, I know it's a lot of motherfucking damn women that motherfucking them that I done motherfucking been with that I don't want to fucking them, you know what I'm saying, claim that I motherfucking them was with them. But hey, I, the proof is, you know what I'm saying, I can't deny it. I was, yeah, I was with it, man. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? I don't know what was fucking wrong with me, man. I guess I just wanted the pussy, yo. Geez, yeah, the pussy was good. You know, you know what I'm saying? I can't deny this shit, you know? I'm pretty sure some of you motherfucking damn bitches out there that motherfucking damn been with niggas, that motherfucking damn, you don't want to fucking damn own up to the fact that you've been with them and in relationship with them for all these years. But you hid. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, Sister Camilla? Yeah. What you think? I mean, from, from what I know about their breakup, it was a horrible breakup. Um, I know that I think police was involved, so it must have been something, um, something deep-rooted that really happened. You know, she said it was physical abuse, so... That's probably why she don't really want to admit to being with the man. Mm-hmm. But it was it was a relationship, bottom line. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Showing the fuzz, you know what I'm saying? I, I feel a pain though, you know what I'm saying? How she don't want yeah, to talk about it. I feel her pain, of course. I yeah. feel her pain. I yeah. feel her pain. Because anybody that put their hands on me, I wouldn't want to say I was in no relationship with you either. I wouldn't want to claim you either. After what you did to me. Oh, oh, feisty little girl there. Feisty little girl. Well, you, you seem like the type that'll put your hands on the man. No comment on that. No okay, no. okay, no further comment. <laughs> now, she get the ratchet. She get the ratchet and the knife and start slicing and dicing. Is it okay if I plead the fifth? No, I'll go ahead and plead the fifth, Miss Genzu. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I want to thank y'all for tuning in and logging on to another episode of Illuminati News Hour Radio on Gospel Talk Radio. I'm your host. I'm your pastor, Mr. Michael Smith, and we have co-hosted by Miss Ginzu herself, Sister Camilla Bates. And it's easy for sheezy. Hit that like button, share button, comment board. The next time, God bless you all. Even though the winds blow, I want you to know, you cause me no alarm, cause I'm safe in his arms. Even though the rain falls, I can still make this call. You will be peace Now I can say Go away I command you to move today Look, I told the storm To pass